Good morning, everyone. Um, today's a really special day, believe it or not. We're having another birthday for the, for the Porsche GT3. <laughs> Last year, it was the 20th birthday, which the world celebrated. But to be quite honest, I think we all agree that when you turn 20, it's pretty good. But when you turn 21, it's even better. And the GT3 this year in 2020, in what is really a tumultuous year so far for the world, the shining light in all of that is the 21st birthday of the mighty Porsche GT3. I'm out here today in South Perth and I'm just on the river and I don't know if you can see but in the background there you can see the city of Perth and a few boats. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. This is, this is basically me just doing a little video before I head down to the troops. We've got an absolutely massive amount of cars coming today. We've got at least two GT2 RSs, which we're going to group with the GT3s. We've got about four or five GT3 Tourings, and then we've also got other GT3s as well, 996s, 997s, 991s, which is pretty much all of them. We don't have a 992 because they're not out yet, but um, just have a look at the lines here of the White Warrior. I mean, you know, these cars are just so beautiful, and they just drive so nicely in this quiet environment. Just around here in the suburbs, just poodling along at the speed limit, the engine just growls, it just sounds great in the cool air. So um, we're in for a really good day today, I'll do my best to capture as much of it as I can. Again, I wish I had a crew of people that could capture these days, because they really are quite amazing. We're going to have about 35 Porsches in total. Um, you know, I mean the cavalcade will stretch for about 5 kilometres. Um, and I'm really grateful and, and honoured that people come to these events, and all of you guys that are watching this now, I just want you to know that but I really appreciate the fact that you come along and I know that we have a good little thing going here and uh, a lot of respect going on between members um, of the group. So um, all I can say is happy birthday Porsche GT3. I'm not gonna sing the birthday song yet, I might do it later. Go Porsche. exhaust from the hypercar on the GDS range. I wish I had that sound in, in, the, uh, in, the, in this car. I mean, this car sounds great and it revs to 9,000 RPM, so, um, but the GDS range of cars just sounds stupid. They even sound better than the GD4. And dare I say this, would it be better for you to buy a manual Cayman GDS Series 1 than a 4.0 718 GD4? and put a hundred grand or so in your pocket. Food for thought. So here we are at our meeting point. It's very early. Um, I actually got here early, but everyone's already here, which is great. And, uh, we've already got a few cars here. 
I did have an idea of lining up all the GD3s in a row, but we're going to do that later anyway. Um, but um, give it about 20 minutes. This area here behind me is going to be chockers with Porsches. I love that term. It's a very Australian term, chockers. It's going to be chockers with Porsches with a with a fair spattering of GD3s and, and winged cars of all sorts. So um, we're in for another good day today. You know, thank God we live in where we do. Go Porsche. Actually, I can just hear someone coming. I just thought I'd just capture this because it's... Whoever it is, it sounds pretty good in the exhaust department. I think it might be that 996 GD3. That's one of the sicker sounds we've got here. It's a, Lothar's done an absolute job with that car. Oh no, it's a Cayman GDS. So there you go, see how good they sound? I told you they sounded good. Yes. <laughs> so here we are, uh, almost ready to go. The car park's completely full. I haven't had a final count of the cars yet. We're still waiting on a couple more to turn up. I just wanted to mention this one behind me here. That is actually just a 3.8. Uh, GD4, um, uh, which has been done up in the uh, club sport livery, and I'll tell you what, that looks bloody great. I'll just uh, flip the camera and have a closer look because that, that's that's come up a treat. Really, really pops this car.
view of the scenery. As you can see, it's just it's absolutely gorgeous this time of year. This is one of the best times of year to visit this region. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got a line of cars here. I might just uh, go do a quick walk past all the cars and see who we've got today. A heap of cars there. Trying to get past the. Uh, what do you reckon, Wayne? <laughs> Oh, not very, <laughs> nice country, very nice countryside, mate. The canola fields, eh? Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice and quiet. Absolutely beautiful. It makes you want to be a farmer, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a fitting birthday party for a duty three. It's got to be. A nice duty four coming up over there as well. Oh, and, and well, I'm not up to it yet. There's a nice duty four here. And we got the proud owners over here. There they go. Of this beautiful 4S. Yay! Check it out. Woohoo! Mate, is that a cracking car or what? Look at that. It's even got Porsche written on the back, just in case you don't know. <laughs> There's Toby's beautiful PDK Boxster with the uh, with the um, the grills. Hey, how good's that mate? What's that really a shame on the side of the road? Yeah. Can you believe it? Uh, G4. Check this one out. Well, the motors, well, this is 50,000 pounds. Are you guys talking about Porsches? We are. Oh, oh right, okay. I just, okay. just happened to talk about that. Why would you? Yeah, uh, what's, you. what's the point of that? <laughs> Brady? Yes. Hey, mate, what do you reckon? <laughs> Beautiful scenery. This time we turned too early. Like, hang on. This is the wrong are, you, are you guys talking about uh, how you got lost again? No, we got there. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you did. But you know what? Everyone did the same thing. Oh, no. Yeah, they all went to that second shopping centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great fun. Conrad, how's. Uh, Very well. You're keeping it on the road, mate. It's a bit greasy. Behaving. <laughs> hey, how's that, Edward here, mate? Um, it's, it's, he's been sideways a couple of times. Um, and he, he didn't realise that there's no traction control, so, you know, there's a few what, stone chips. What is traction control? Oh, that's right. You're an air cool guy. He doesn't know what it, that is. He, he doesn't know what it is. Traction yet. control is actually, is feathering the throttle and the brake and all that bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another nice GT4. We've got a beautiful, I mean, there's just so many cars, I don't even know what to say. It's a nice Cabriolet there, Carrera Cabriolet, 996. Yeah, please. Oh. oh, no problem, mate, no problem. There's Rookie in his speedster. He made a wrong turn, but he's found us. That's the main thing. Another 4.0. The commoners muck these GT3s, they're everywhere. Everyone's got them. Yeah, yeah, you should get a GDS. They're the, they're the rare ones. <laughs> and there's a GDS there. I love this. Have a look at this 996. Have a look at this 996 Carrera with a ducktail. Get away. How beautiful is that? Are you kidding me? Deep, they're actually genuine Fuchs rims, by the way. If I can get that in the video properly. Let's have a look. A bit thick, so. Genuine Fuchs rims on that. Oh my goodness, this car just pops like nothing else, eh? Check it out. Uh, we got a little Cayman S here with a Capristo exhaust. And finally, we got Rookie. It's just rocked up, took the wrong turn, but that's okay. I'm sure he enjoyed the drive nonetheless. It is beautiful speed stuff. Suss that out.
here we are at our destination and uh, the secret, the cat's out of the bag, it's New Norcia. Uh, now the New Norcia pub actually closed down last year. Um, the board decided to close down the pub and the restaurant, but uh, it's still taking accommodation. Uh, but it's available for booking, so I've booked that for today. We've got a lunch going on, and honestly, the amount of bloody jetties, we've got 15. There's a rogue jetty for there, <laughs> Roderick. Um, but other than that, it looks great though, don't get me wrong, it looks really good with the wings sticking out. But we've got 15 jetty threes in total. I'll have to do a proper walk around and show you, because this, this beautiful building here, it's, it's worthy of, of seeing it with the jetty threes in front of it, believe me. And then we've also got a lovely group of uh, other other Porsches, absolutely stunning GDSs, Caymans, 911s. We've got a nice air cooled 993 there. How's it? How are you going, mate? We'd love you to be here today. Um, so yeah, they're all lined up over there. And if I spin around, you can see the beautiful heritage building. And then further on, you've got all the GD3s lined up. Uh, that's just a great sight. That is um, 35 cars in total. And it's a fitting, it's a fitting um, birthday party, for 21st birthday for the GT3. Look at that beautiful GT4. And another GT4 right next to it. I love this car here, this beautiful 901. It's Adrian Michelle's beauty. Absolutely stunning Carrera. Uh, yeah, Carrera 4S here, 996. With the turbo rims. mid-engine cars here. We've already seen that beautiful GT4 Club Sport homage. I love this 996 to death. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that. It doesn't get any better than that. The GDS 911. Surely the sweet spot of the range in between the, uh, the GT3 uh, and the Carrera S. I love that car. Beautiful twin turbo, 996 Cabriolet. Another absolutely lovely, I love the rims on this one too, this Cayman. Beautiful, look at that. Look at this beautiful Cayman GDS. Torino red, one of my favourite colours. Absolutely stunning. Look at this 993, hello. Good friend of mine is in uh, Singapore at the moment. Uh, can't get back to Australia, although he is an Australian, so um, he's got a friend looking after his cars looking after his cars <laughs> yep that one's never been sideways nah another 996 cabriolet and then the piece of resistance of course you've got this beautiful gds look at that So here we are up on the balcony of the uh, iconic um, hostel, they call it, in New Norcia. And uh, you can see the bush behind us, and then if we just spin around here, we've got the cars lined up, the 911s and the mid-engine cars. And then uh, we've got all the crew over there just enjoying an Abbey Ale. Absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, I'll have to get a special shot of the, the GT3s which are down there. So I'll, I'll just turn the camera around and have a look from up here. This is Porsche Paradise Creme de la Creme. Hello, you. Thank you so much for attending this event. It's been cracking, cracking day. And um, we're about to go and have lunch and then we'll um, find our way home as well. So um, let's have a look at some GD3s and let's sing happy birthday to the GD3. Yeah.